just got an email with a flight confirmation that I am now going to London, England. Of course, because I travel all the time, I already got a bag like half packed and now I'm catching a red eye and I'm getting out of here. My bank had a bit of a British pounds. It should be enough to get me through the 24 hours that I'm there. I'm literally gonna be in the air longer than I am on the ground. Let's do this. Essentially, I'm gonna be flying out at midnight and getting in at noon local time tomorrow. I'm gonna be all messed up. Yeah, these sleeping pills. I don't wanna leave it, I feel so bad. I sleep like a baby. Almost at the gate? Whoa. I'm going to quickly jump in an Uber, get to the hotel, see what I can of the city, and prepare for tomorrow because it's going to be insane. I got to first of all screen missing link, then talk to Hugh Jackman, and then do this all over again and jump on a flight to go back to Toronto. Wait a second, it's on the wrong side. That is it. I need a coffee. <sighs> like a thousand cups of coffee. Not letting anything slow me down. Okay, so we are in the hotel room. Going to quickly uh, change. Pretty sure I just entered Diagon Alley. I think that was Ollivander's wand shot back there. But I just saw Hermione, but just a muggle. What is this? Okay, that was a fun little surprise. There's some goals someday to have some of that hanging in your living room at home. Until then, it's just finger painting art from when I was six years old. I'm gonna head over to Fortnum and Mason and buy some coffee for back home. If you haven't been, it's one of the best places to pick up coffee. A friend of mine who used to live here, Claire, told me about it. Uh, I'm hooked on it, but the store is beautiful. I've just been told that this is one of the uh, fancier hotels in London. I believe it's a, a Best Western. Don't quote me on that. Look at it. It's beautiful. So I literally just made that last video as a joke. And as I said that, this car drives by and I shit you not, the queen is in the back seat. They just pulled in over there. That's her like bodyguard detail. And she went into those gates and I completely missed it. So far this vlogging thing is uh, proving to be a lot tougher. And I thought, the one shot I should have got and I completely missed it. No big deal, just, just the queen of England. What a letdown. All right, here we are. Fortnum and Mason, a little retail therapy. Already got a bunch of uh, stuff in the old basket. Coffee, tea, and they got a lot of Easter chocolates, so I've come at the right time. You want a hand-painted chocolate asparagus? Yeah, they got that too. We've got so much amazing stuff in here. Stocked up, and now I'm going to uh, take the most London route I can find back to my hotel, or is it route? I don't know, I find my English is getting better the longer I'm here though. So I've just stumbled across this little place over here, House of Mina Lima. These are the guys who did all the, the graphic work and designed a lot of the posters and props and stuff for the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast films. Let's go and uh, check it out inside. That's it for day one, I did it, I stayed awake. I always try to fight through the urge to have a nap because you're tired, you want a nap, but then you can't sleep if you nap and then you're all messed up for the next day. So I always try to, to fight it the first day. Tomorrow's the big day. Whew. Gotta go to sleep now. Uh, yes, I am wearing the same shirt I wore yesterday. Hopefully they can give me a late checkout so I can actually come back and change because if they can't, and uh, we're gonna have some uh, have some problems later. Now we're awake. 
I got an extension on the checkout. Lovely Canadian girl working on the front desk. She used to take as long as you need, so perfect. Now I'm gonna walk over to the hospital club, trying to get there before nine o'clock to check out Missing Link. What is this for strange bathroom or Kama Sutra, huh? The word, my dear fellow, is trust. Oh, so you want the poop now? Oh, later we'll be fine. Now uh, over to the hotel, grab my stuff, and then over to the interview. I, I love what Leica does with the stop motion. It's incredible. Now they do a lot of 3D printing. You can really tell how that's enhanced what they do. Super fun. Hugh Jackman dropping the Australian accent for an English accent, and Zach Galifianakis as Missing Link, AKA Susan. Incredibly hilarious, such a fun movie. Not only for the, you know, the kids, but the whole family. I think adults are gonna love this movie just as much. And maybe do a little sightseeing on the way back. Take the long way to the hotel. I got it for three hours. A little more history here. Trafalgar Square. No idea what that is. Look at that. The Canadian Embassy. Maybe I'll hop in there, sign some monographs or something. That's not every day they get visited by a Canadian icon. They're gonna be like, who are you? Get the hell out of here, we're calling security. This is my pal Steve Cardenas who played the Red Ranger. Steve, you were a, uh, you were slim, man. Well, good day. We're all done at the hotel. We're gonna head on down the street now to speak with Mr. Huge. Um, yeah. Anyway, bags are packed up, ready to go. Last night I talked to a friend who worked with Hugh Jackman on Les Mis and told me something really cool that uh, when they were on set, every Friday he would bring scratch tickets for the crew as a way to get to know everybody. So today, because I've heard so many great things about this guy, I want to give him a little something as a thank you for making the time. So I got him one of these. Hopefully he scratches it and wins, and then we can split the money. I've uh, checked in a little early, so I gotta wait, and then I'll be moved over here to these chairs where I will be going in. And then five minutes after that, I'm gonna be in an Uber to the airport to get on a flight back to Toronto. My tour started in Toronto. Yeah, I'm very grateful to Toronto. It's a great, Theatre town, actually. Uh, yeah. Well, we're looking forward to having Sorry. you back, man. That's not part of your five minutes. No, 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 no. That's me banging on about good, my good. own tour. Well, you're going to be back, and we're going to all go see it, and it's going to be amazing, and then you can just get a place and live there, and yeah. it'll be perfect. Two fives. Not that we're endorsing gambling, <laughs> but I just won five pounds. Did you really? Do you want two And I said I would give you 10%. Two and right? a half. Now, what? No, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Just like that, interview's done. It went really well, and uh, the scratch ticket, he, he gave it back to me. He insisted on scratching it while I was still in the room, and then gave me the winning, so I had to go cash this in and head to the airport. So we got five pounds and then a bonus of five pounds, which he didn't scratch in the interview. I scratched it. Turns out, doubled the winning. There we go, we got the, uh, the ten pounds. I owe Hugh uh, half, though, so next time I see him, I'll have to give him his five pounds. Hopefully it's soon. Because I'm not sure if that includes interest or not. Should have probably asked that. Quick update. I had to uh, come back to the hotel to call an Uber. I uh, actually saw Hugh Jackman again and I gave him his 10 pounds. And he was quite happy about it. He said it was the first time he's ever been paid for an interview. And then he tried to give me my five, but he didn't have it on him. So now he owes me, which is better than me owing him. See how the tables have turned, Mr. Jackman. Now I can charge him interest. This is goodbye, London. It's been a whole day. It's been a fun day. See you soon, Toronto. And with that, my little London adventure has come to an end. Back in Toronto. Whew, going home now. I've got a lot of sleep to catch up on, but thank you so much for watching, and let's uh, do it again for the next one.